Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. But before we start, can you kind of give, um, hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. I would definitely appreciate it. It helps the YouTube algorithm. So what you see here is, um, this is Blender 3.0. This is my very first time using this software. Um, I'm familiar with all of this Maya and Dash Studio and um, iClone, but this is the very first time that I ever um, use Blender. So I'm in the process of training, of learning the software. But some, but before we start on this um, tutorial, um, I apologize for the way my voice sound. Unfortunately, several years ago, I came down with an illness that, that paralyzed one of my vocal cords. So it's very difficult for me to talk. And at first I wasn't going to do this um, channel or do any tutorials on animation because I don't have the ability, ability to talk like the way that I used to. But if some of you out there that has a disability or something that you want to do, don't allow anything to stop or get in your way. So I'm just going to keep on pushing and pushing. So <clears throat> sometimes it may be difficult to hear me or understand me, but I'm going to explain everything as good as I can. Okay. All right. So let's get started. So this is Blender, this is Blender 3.0. And this is the viewport and the interface is what I've learned so far. So remember, I know almost nothing about this software, but we're going to learn it together, okay? All right, so this is the interface of Blender. And what you see here is the, the main menus you got here. We're in the layout menu. So you have the modeling, sculpting, um, UV editing, Texture paint, shading, animation, render, compositing, geometry nodes, and scripting. All right. But what we're going to use for this specific tutorial is the um, basic layout. So, so the first thing you see in the layout, I have a cube here. So let's take this cube out for a second. And then what you see also in the viewport, you have a lamp and you have a camera. Okay. And right here, what you have here is in the scene collection is uh, everything that's in the viewport shows up here in this outline right here. So you see the light and you see the camera. Okay. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to learn how to use these tools. So we have the move tool, we have the rotate tool, and we have the scale tool. And one thing I want to tell you about Blender, um, it has a lot of hotkeys, the um, shortcut hotkeys. I'm going to show you that. And you might want to copy this, you may want to screen copy this. These are all the shortcuts of um, the hotkeys that you would use to Blender. But I'm still learning these hotkeys. I don't know all of them. Okay, I don't know all of them, but um, I do know maybe a, a little bit of them. So I'm going to show you that. Okay, so let's do the first thing. Let's bring something, let's bring some geometry into this um, viewport. So the first thing I learned, you go to add, <clears throat> go to mesh, go to a cube. That's your cube right here. And you notice that this um, scene collection, it populated with the cube. Okay. <clears throat> so let's do, let's use some of these other tools here. Like I said, you got the move tool, you got the rotating tool, and you got the scale. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some of these hotkeys. Okay. And then also you have the X, Y, Z axis. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to move around in the viewport. So you move around in the viewport, you just hit the, um, you need a mouse to do Blender. You got to have a mouse, okay? So you hit the middle mouse button, 
like this and you move it around just like that you can rotate around like that or you can rotate up here you can move around just like that okay so if you want to um, scroll you just use the middle mouse button to scroll back and you can scroll forward with the middle mouse button okay there's two ways that you can um you can pan in the viewport hold down the middle mouse button and hit the shift button there you go Okay, if you want to zoom, you can hit the, hit the control, t control key, hit the middle mouse button, and you can zoom in and out like that. Okay, now I'm going to show you another hotkey. If you want to move this, um, this, this cube, you can hit the G button, and you can move it just like this. Okay, or you can go here and you can move it this way. This is the Z, you see that blue line going up? That's the Z axis. This is the Y. And this is the X. Okay. So if you want to um, move around with the, with the axis, with this Q, you can hit the G. Hold down the middle mouse button and look what happens. It automatically you can just pop from from the from the uh, from the X to the Z and to the Y just by doing this. Okay, so I'm just trying to get you familiar with how to use some of the um, from the hotkeys, and I'm not really familiar with all the hotkeys, but I just wanted to show you how to use them. If you want to rotate, hit the rotate key here. Or you can hit the R key, which is another hot key. And you can kind of rotate it around like that. And then if you want to scale this box, I mean this cube, you use another high key, which is S, and you can scale it up and down like that. Okay, um, this is all that I want to show you in this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're gonna uh, I'm gonna show you how to edit the mesh. We're gonna go into edit mode, and we're gonna create a donut from step by step. We're gonna create our first donut in um, Blender 3.0 and I'd love to give a shout out to the um, Blender Guru for all this information and um, thank you for watching and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel thank you for watching and have a good day